Hello everyone. Today we're going to continue look at another method to solve a uh, scalar nonlinear equation. Uh, this method is secant method. Okay, now um, if you want to know more about the secant method, please watch my uh, introduction video on um, methods used to solve scalar nonlinear equation. So today we're going to just focus on how to use this method to solve um, scalar nonlinear equation. So, a uh, secant method use um, a line through two points. So, let's say I have a point um, xk minus 1. Okay, and this is the function of um, xk minus 1. And the other points are um, x at k minus 2 and f of x at k minus 2. Okay, so um, this is my x and y, so I need two points. Okay, the line, okay, we have a line, so what secant method does, I will briefly explain here. So let's say this is my line at y equals to 0. And let's say I have a curve like this. So, and you know this, these are the roots. Okay, these are the roots. I have two roots here. Depends on what interval um, you are given. Uh, let's say, so, secant method use two lines. Let's say, this line. Okay, these are the two lines it uses. These are the x values. Here, one at, um, this will be x at k minus 1. This will be x at k minus 2. Okay? So what it does here, based on these two values, use the second formula okay, to get closer to the root. Okay? So the first iteration, you might get nothing, pretty much. And in the second iteration, it cuts the screw again. Okay, depends on uh, which iteration it use. So, for example, let me just um, write down the formula. So, if you want to find x, let's say this is my k equals to start with 2. So, I have here for x, 0, and x, 1. These are my two points, right? So, to find x2 the formula will be x1 minus let's use a bracket here x1 minus x0 divided by f of x1 minus f of x0 and I multiply with f of x1. Okay, so second method start with two initial, I mean, I would say two values, such as start with x0 and x1 to find x2. Now, once you obtain x2, it will use the value of x2 and x1 with this x2 and x1 you can find x3 such that x2 minus x2 minus x1 over function of x at 2 minus function of x1 and multiply with f of x 2. Okay, so you get that. So once you find x 2 here, okay, we don't know where the value of x 2. Let's say x 2 could be here. So what it does with the, with the help of x 1 and x 2, it will cut through the line again. Okay. Okay. 
here to here and then with the help of x3 let's say here it will use the line to cut it again okay and then now with here it will cut it again until you find x k whatever iteration k is okay so that's the idea so if you get the idea now let's look at uh solving one example the examples are pretty quickly if you use the solution okay so like i say uh there are a few steps to use it so first step is you need to initial so such as x0 x1 that's the first step okay and once you find this x0 and x1 what we do we evaluate find for f of x0 and f of x1 okay so once you find this value now we find or evaluate x2 for k equals to 2 using this formula xk equals to xk minus 1 minus x of k minus 1 minus x of k minus 2 over f of xk minus 1 minus f of xk minus 2 and then multiply whole thing with f of x k minus 1. Okay, remember k start from 2 because when 2 minus 2 is also the end 0. Okay, now use this formula so the iteration continue where we find after that we find x3, x4, x5 and so on. We repeat the process until f of xk equals to zero or we set a tolerance or epsilon we say the magnitude of this less than epsilon where epsilon is a very small value okay so these are five steps that we use to um to find the root of a nonlinear equation using secant method so let's look at a simple example so let's say I say apply two iterations of secant method for fx equals to x squared. Use one zero point five. Okay, so, so from this question here, we know we just need to find two iteration. Okay, we know this is my initial x0 and x1. This is a function. So what we want to do is we want to find the root. Okay, obviously, this is quite easy. This is a quadratic equation. We can find the root. So what we want to do is we want to find x squared equals to 0. Now obviously if you sketch this graph, we have a graph like this. So this is fx equals to fx and there's only one root which is at x equals to 0. Okay, but so this is this is the exact solution. I will say this is the exact solution. Now we want to use secant method to find the solution. Okay, so we start with um, 1 and 0. So we know x naught. So we know that for k equals to 2, what we have x2 equals to x1 minus x1 minus x0 over 
f of x1 minus f of x0 and multiply with f of x1. Okay, this is just using the secant formula. Now, x1 is 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 minus x0 is 1. Okay, so we're looking at this interval here, right? Okay, 0 is 1, x1 is 0 0.5. And then divide by, okay, the function of f of x, 1. So, 0 0.5 squared. So, we have 0 0.5 squared minus 1 squared. Now, multiply with f of x, 1, which is 0 0.5 squared. Okay, so you can pass a calculator and you can obtain 0 0.3333. Give your solution to 4 decimal point. Okay, this is k equals to 2. Now, continuing the equation for k equals to 3. So, I have x3 equals to x2 minus x2 minus x1 over f of x2 minus f of x1 and multiply with f of x2 okay so you get the idea so now we continue what is my x2 this is my x2 so 0 0.3333 minus 0 0.3333 minus x1 which is 0 0.5 over 0 0.3333 square minus 0 0.5 square multiply with 0 0.3333 square okay so put it into your calculator you will obtain 0 0.2000 now this is for k equals to 3. And the solution say 2 iterations, so you can stop. But you know that the exact solution that we saw is x equals to 0. So iterative method computed is x at 0 0.2, which is way less than, I mean, bigger than this. So we need to continue the equation. Okay, so... This is the value for k equals to 3 now. Um, based on my um, calculation, very quickly, for k equals to 4, my x4, you will get 0 0.125. This is your homework. Maybe you can um, try to continue the iteration. And then for k equals to 5, you will get x5 equals to 0 0.0. 077 you see that the numbers are decreasing and for k equals to 6 then my x6 you will get 0 0.0478 okay so the answer is 0 but you can see that as the iteration increases the values are decreasing and approaching 0 so actually you can keep going but uh, due to my um, limited time, I'm just going to stop the iteration up to x6. Although we know that the root is x equals to 0, secant method can uh, find the root by continuing the process until. Okay, so when do you stop? You can stop when f of xk, magnitude of this, equals to 0 or um, this function here f of x k is less than a very small epsilon okay so that's all for the second method uh, i'll see you in the next video on new method bye